All right, you guys. I am all dressed up, and it's Sunday morning, so you know where we're going. We're going to church, and I'm gonna tell you the reasons why, if you're doing the van life, you might wanna think about going to church. I'm driving there now. And don't worry, I'm not gonna, this isn't proselytization. I don't care if uh, you believe in anything or not, but there are some practical reasons why you might wanna consider. <laughs> The first reason is near and dear to my heart in the sense that I lose track of what day it is. Now, when you're working from home, or in my case, working from the road, all the days are exactly the same. You don't have to go to work on Monday, so you completely lose track of the days. When you have something that grounds you as like an appointment sometime in the week, you actually have to mentally remember what day it is. So that actually, I find, really helps me out. And if I, it's not every Sunday that I go, but it's any time I'm in a big city or anything like that. And that keeps me grounded. It tells me, okay, today's Sunday. I got something to do, tomorrow's Monday. And that keeps me on the same wavelength as the normal people. Number two, kind of ties in to a lot of that in the sense that when you're out by yourself, you're not talking to anybody. You're not getting that vital human connection. And there's a ton of people. I can't think of a more friendly place you could go than your local church and talk to people because the first time I went, I hadn't been in like 15 years. And I was just like, okay, I'm bored. I'm gonna go, I'll see what it's all about. Just so many people just wanted to come up and say hello to me, ask my story. They love the idea of the van and everything like that. So it, it was fun, it's, I like the attention. Can't imagine a, a more group of friendly people that you would wanna spend some time with. Number three, your soul, would you die? No, I'm just, I'm kidding. Real number three. Depending on the denomination that you are or that you decide to go to, they're very pretty helpful. And if that means you're going to events where you get free food, like I get a ton of free food. Not that I asked for it. They have all types of functions and stuff where if you're just a church member, you just come up. I mean, a lot of churches want you to pay some type of tithing, like uh, mine is 10%, but that's kind of a recommendation. They don't, they're not gonna like hound off down in your door and bust down for, where's my money, where's my money? type of that thing they're not going to do that they have a lot of different events and functions and things like that last week they had an event going on that everybody got together on a monday night and we all carved little things of soap so that was kind of interesting i made a little dog a little border terrier because that's the kind of like uh it didn't really turn out like a dog kind of looks more like a bear or a pig but it looks pretty good i'll send i'll show you some of the clips for that that's probably what's playing on the screen right now free food depending on the denomination they might even want to help you if you're doing the van life but not by choice, but by requirement, which some of us are. You might be able to find somebody that can help you out. Maybe they can find you some work or find you a place to stay. Or I mean, specifically the one I'm going to is, is very generous in that regard. It's not something I need, but I've seen it help other people and that's always a good thing. Number four, you get to dress up. I love to, uh, I love to wear my suit. I get to actually wear a surprising amount for somebody who's traveling around in a van for work, clients, and sometimes videos and things like that. But I just love wearing the suit. It's like it's like power armor, and I like that. And then I have the little lapel pin here from my past life as a uh, airline pilot. So that always comes up with some good stories. Let's see, what else do we got? This is like number five, or it's more like 3.5 or something, because it's about meeting people my own age. Now this isn't applicable to everybody, but the one I'm going to is a youth centered ward there's people that are my age and stuff so that's pretty cool i get to meet people like they're like oh you're doing this a lot of them are still even younger than me i guess i'm getting old i'm oh i don't even want to say how old i am it's getting there it's um wasting away i can feel years go just go by and pass me by somebody said the other day i look my age and i can't think of a more hurtful insult <laughs> it's like how could you do that to me bro uh, i think that means i've, I've always looked mature I need a new stand for this. You can see the camera swinging all over the place. But I've always looked mature. When I was 24, I would I would go to a, in meetup groups and people would be like, oh, how old are you? I was like, take a guess. And they'd always say like, like early 30s. But I think that's also because I carry myself with an air of confidence and maturity because I've always been a little bit more mature than some of my contemporaries. But you can go to your local church and meet friends and people your age, no matter what age you are. And that's always a good thing. You want to spend time with people that are like-minded and in the same spot that you are in life. At least that's how I feel. Is this the exit? I think this is the exit. Oh, we got some we got some glare going on here. That's no no bueno. 
that's the light of God shining through. No, I know, I know, this is, I'm not trying to be preachy, I just think it's funny. Number six is it builds a sense of community and greater purpose, and I don't mean a religious purpose, I mean a sense of community where, like, you know people down the neighborhood, and when I come to this visit this town, I know people here, I have friends here now, and that's rare for me, it's, it's always hard for me to make friends, and maybe you guys are the same way, but when you have a common purpose or a common event you go to, you can make friends, people invite you to go to barbecues, things like that, so that's always fun. Can I think of any more? I don't know, we're on our way there now. Why is nobody in the parking lot? Why is nobody here? Nobody's here. There's normally a, uh, a sacrament meeting before mine. I'm the second one of the day. That's the one I go to. Uh, nobody's here. Okay, I must have missed. This must be like some event that they're doing. Is today Sunday? Today's Sunday. Huh, okay, well. Sometimes the denomination that you go to might have special meetings where maybe like once every two months they meet at a uh, at a temple or something. That's what this one does. And I have a feeling that that was this week and I just missed it. Sixth thing, seventh thing, I can't remember what we're at. If you've watched any like Jordan Peterson, he is a psychologist that got famous all over the world for preaching responsibility rather than freedom and all sorts of things like that. I enjoy his early work. I don't so much, I disavow all his recent stuff. It, it totally lost the mark, but he does have an amazing Bible lecture series. And I wasn't interested in the Bible until I listened to that. It's an incredibly written book. I mean, people say that, but I guess that's a meme at this point because it's like a platitude whatever, but it was incredibly fascinating. I've always been interested in psychology and metaphysics, things like that. So it was right up my alley. I actually enjoy going through some of the scriptures from a, from a more psychological perspective. I enjoy the metaphysics and the psychology, all that type of stuff. I've used that word like four times now, but it's very fascinating. I enjoy all the ancient words like, okay, so get this. Sin is actually from the ancient Hamartian word for with an arrow, bow and arrow to miss the mark. So sin is not, the literal translation is you're missing the mark of like what to do, of like how to be a, a, a good person, so to speak. It's just the old etymology and things like that are very interesting and I, and I like that a lot. Number however many this is. I don't share this a lot with, uh, or actually at all, but I'm actually an ordained minister in the non-denominational non e-filing type of online thing that you can get for like $10, it's like, or it's free or something. And even cooler, I have been knighted into the priesthood status in, in the one that I've been going to for a while. So that's pretty cool. Doesn't really mean anything, but it means I can do, I can pass out the sacrament and do things like that. I think that's pretty neat. It's just a fun little piece of trivia to do to be part of your community and things like that. Once again, not preaching. I don't care if you go or not. Or do I care? I don't. But it is pretty cool. And it's cool to say, I'm a priest. That's pretty cool. I, I think it is anyway. I love certifications and things like that. Like I wanted to get my beekeeping license and, and all different types of licensing I think are really cool. I tried to get my series seven and 11, but that was gonna be so much money and you need to be sponsored by like an investment bank. That was back when I was doing the finance and stuff and I, throughout college, I stock traded for extra spending money. Never made a lot, but you made enough to make it be profitable and that's rarer than most people. Most investment firms don't even make money. They make money on commissions. That's why it's a total scam to do all your own stock trading it unless you're doing like really long plays at least six months it's not worth it don't do it just have like a 401k or something like that but finance is a whole another thing you don't want to get into that my very first character in world of warcraft this all those many years ago was a priest and i got to like level 26 but it was too challenging i didn't know how to do it so i went and rolled hunter and then that was my main for the first couple years of world of warcraft which is cool and now playing world of warcraft classic it just came back out and so once again i played a hunter and he's max level now and now I'm playing an alt on the alliance side as a priest so it's pretty cool I'm role playing myself in video games that's not really a pro for most people I guess but it's a fun content building video content well let's go around to the other side see if there's any cars here I don't see anybody no bishop no uh no patrons <sighs> oh man so see this kind of goes to another thing I'm completely out of the loop with normal people I don't know anybody's schedule. I don't know events going on. You can see it is kind of deliriating. I think that's a word. Deleterious. All right. Well, nobody's here. Church is canceled today, but we did get a good video out of it. All of my stuff still holds true. I still think it's a good thing that you might want to consider. Hey, look, I'm not forcing you. I don't have a gun like pointing through the YouTube 
be like, you better go, you better worship. It's not like that, but I think it's a fun thing to do. You get to hang out with people. You get some free bread and some free water or wine, depending on where you go to. I guess we'll try next week. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. It's only tomorrow. It's just a day away. I think that's a song or something like that. I don't really know. All right, all right. This is it. This is the end of the video for real. For real, you guys. I can't keep doing, like, thank you for watching. And then, you know, some cynical people might be thinking, he's just padding out the video time. He just wants it to be a longer video. So YouTube increases the watch time. Well, those cynical people, you know, you just can't be around them. They just want to tear everything down. They So you can either... You can have the tallest town in the building, either by ha building the tallest building or tearing other people down. Let's build up high buildings. Let's build ourselves up and uh, not tear people down. All right, this is it. Goodbye.